Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're going to continue our place value understanding and again looking at standard and expanded form, but this time we're going to see something in standard form and we're going to write it in expanded form. So our objective says essentially that I can write a number in expanded form when seen in standard form. So number one says write 435 thousandths, that's the thousandths place, in expanded form. So this is in standard form. What's that called? Yes, standard form. And we want to expand it. We want that number to take up more space by showing each of the place values. So I'm going to go ahead and write that number in my place value chart. And by doing that, it makes it easier for me to identify the place values that I need to show when I write in expanded form. So I'm going to start with the first non-zero digit. I have a 4 in the tenths place. So I'm going to write 4 times 1 tenth. And then I'm going to add that to a 3 in the hundredths place. So I have 3 times 1 hundredths, showing that that 3 is in the hundredths place. And I'm going to add that to our 5, which is in the thousandths place. So that's what the expanded form would look like. We have a 4 in the tenths place, a 3 in the hundredths place, and a 5 in the thousandths place. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with 80 and 26 thousandths. So I'm going to put that in my place value chart. So I have an 8 in the tens place, a 0 in the ones place, a 0 in the tenths place, a 2 in the hundredths place, and a 6 in the thousandths place. And now I'm just going to write each of those out. So my 8 is in the tens place, so 8 times 10. I don't have to worry about anything that's a zero because that just is unnecessary mess to um, add to our expanded form. So I'm going to skip the ones place, I'm going to skip the tens place, and I'm going to go to the next digit that's not a zero. And that two is in the hundredths place. So I'm going to add two times one hundredth to show that that two needs to be in the hundredths place. And then lastly, I'm going to write six times one one thousandth because that six would be three digits after the decimal. One, two, three digits after the decimal. Now we're using decimal numbers to represent our place values, but another way that we can show that is with fractions. So we can actually do the same thing, but instead of writing one tenth as a decimal, we can write it as a fraction. One tenth, one hundredth, one thousandth. So again, using our place value chart and labeling it really will help us to place uh, or to write the number in standard form, uh, from standard form into expanded form. So I'm going to do the same thing, except instead of writing decimal numbers, I write the fraction equivalent. So you can see I still have 4 times 1 tenth, or 4 in the tenths place, 3 in the hundredths place, 5 in the thousandths place. And that's what it would look like for 80 and 26 thousandths an 8 in the tens place, a 2 in the hundredths place, and a 6 in the thousandths place. Using the fraction form or the decimal form, is they're both appropriate, and it just depends on what you're asked for or how you're going to be using it, um, which would help you to choose which way you want to write it. So again, our objective says I can write a number in expanded form when I see the number in standard form. Thanks for watching.